Hi there and uh, welcome back. So let's continue with our lecture. So what we have to do now is we need to move this particular code in our background tray. So let's create over here. Let's go down and I'll just create a private class over here, right? And I'll just say a uh, FETCH fetcher. I am a GH fetch image. So let's say we are going to fetch an image from the server. And uh, this should extend the async tag. So a S Y async tax over here and we have to pass particularly a uh, three param parameter over here one is the uh, params as you can see over here uh, let me show you that particularly what parameter that we have to pass over here so we have to pa pass the pumps uh, which is the parameters and the progress and the result so the three parameter that we have to pass so the pumps that we are not going to pass the any parameter so i will just say as the void over here and also we are not going to pass the progress we are not in, interested in the progress bar like uh, what's the percentage that is uh, the file has been downloaded we are not interested on that one so i'll just say a uh, void over here too and finally and the result that we are going to get so the what will be the result that is going to return so it's basically going to return a let's say going to return a bitmap so let me add a bitmap over here and now uh, let me try to change the constructor evocation and uh, let me try to implement all of the method that we need so i'll just say i need a do in background so just click on okay so we have that doing background override method over here here we will perform all of the tasks so i'll just copy all of these things right so i will copy all of these things and uh, paste it over here so what we have done over here we have uh, basically set up everything right so we have moved the particular code that we have in the main thread to our async tax which runs in our background thread and i need to override one more function which is of on post right on post execute so this on post execute will be executed after all of this operation has been finished so when doing background has been completed then it will go and call this on post execute so i hope you guys know that uh, how we used to do in a traditional way uh, after we do our tax over here perform a tax and then it's going to call the on post execute where we can get the result and do something with that result in our ui so what we'll do now is uh, here instead of setting up the val i will just say as a return sorry are it you are and return the bitmap and since we have the particular bitmap over here and i can just check over there if the result right if the result is uh, not equals to let's say of a no so if it is not null, then uh, what we'll go and we will try to set that image over here so just cut this section and paste it over here and uh, this image view is not going to get access so what we need to do is we need to pass this image so let's pass it to the uh, the view model and uh, i think we also not able to access this view model that is because this is not the inner class so when whenever we create the class in Kotlin is not created as the inner class because if we create as a inner class then we should have access to the outer class so this is not the inner class this is particularly the nested class that we have created over here so I think we just move this one offside over here for now okay so what I will do is I'll create a callback over here so I'll just go over here in the constructor I'll just Create a val callback and that should pass the bitmap. And over here, I'll just call the callback and we have to pass the particular result over there. So just copy this one and uh, paste it over there, right? And the return type should be of the that what we want to set it as a unit. Sorry, it should be the return type should be of the unit. So that should be somewhere we have to put the bracket inside over here. And that should return 
written for us the unit right okay so that should be fine so we are we set up the callback so this is not the inner class that's why we have to do if we set it up as the inner class we can directly access the outer class variable and the properties but that could particularly go and leak the memory so that has the prone to er uh, error leak of the memory leak so we set it as the uh, not we will not set it as the inner class and now what we will do over here in the main thread of so this one what we will is we'll call this particular class from over here so fetch fetch the image or the class name should be in the capital letter so just copy that fetch image right so we have this one fetch image and over here in the constructor we have to pass uh, we will get uh, let's say we get the bitmap as over here and i can just copy this one and uh, let me copy the whole thing just copy the whole thing and paste it over there and instead of bitmap i'll just say as it or else you can just say that as a bitmap so i'll just set it as an image view that set bitmap dot and i will execute it so execute that one so this will execute the particular task that we have so do in a background using a fetch uh, fetch class that we have created. So this is the private class and which is of the nested class that we have created. And we can remove this particular brace over here of the out of the lambda expression. So we have this one and now if you go and run your application. So let's try to run the app and uh, let me open the and uh, let me try to open the lock card over here and we still have some error that no address associated with the host name and permission denied so that means i haven't added the permission so let me add the permission for the internet so use permission so that should be of the internet okay so that should be fixed that particular issue and let me try to run the application and let me try to clear it out this one and uh, let's see okay so now you can see that we have particularly get back the image that we need it's, it's getting the image that we need okay so it's the same image and that's look good so what we have done over here is uh, quite a lot of things we have created a separate class which is of the fetch image that's the nested class that we have created and we have the lambda expression that's we have passed it in the constructor and we are returning the, the particular result that we are actually setting up the bitmap from here and we are calling that over here and executing it and getting the image and setting up in, in our image view. So that's a lot of tasks that we have performed. So that's, you can see how much of the code that we have to write to do a, to do a small task just to download a simple image from the particular URL. So we have to create a separate class and do a lot of things. So let's do the same thing in uh, Kotlin quarantine in our next lecture. So that will be our first Kotlin quarantine that we'll be doing. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.